Hey, what's going on guys? It's Vendor Bass, Brandon Levy. This time the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Super Scroll Build a Figure Wave, Doctor Doom. I cannot wait to open this guy. He's actually one of my anticipated figures of this year. And I've been wanting a Doctor Doom figure for a very long time, a new one. And this looks like it's going to be the best one of all time. So, here he is in the box. You can see him on the side. The artwork looks awesome. Fantastic Four symbol up there. And you can see all the figures on the wave. Um... I actually do want all of them, but I'm going to take my time on this. I have Dr. Doom right now and Human Torch, but the other ones, I'm going to try and complete the team, but I'm going to take my time on this wave, but Dr. Doom was the one I wanted the most. But yeah, let's open this up, get my opinion. Here's Dr. Doom out of the packaging. Oh my god, dude. So, this was well worth the wait, I will say that. I am so impressed with this figure. There's a lot of engineering in this guy, and he just came out great. Dr. Doom's actually my favorite villain of all time. There's a whole list of them, but he's at number one. I love Dr. Doom. Um, he's just such a great character, and they nailed it on this guy. It's more of a modern look of Dr. Doom. Modern as in, like, the last, I want to say, 20 years. 20, 10 years. He's pretty much never really changed his suit unless you count the um, infamous Doom but I mean, this is a really, really nice figure. Looking at this head sculpt, it's kind of hard to see, and that's cool. It's kind of like a, a shadow. You can't even see his face, which is very cool. But you can see his face kind of. All the details in there. It is really hard to see, I will say that, with this camera. We got a gold chain, all the details there. Just like this um, little texturing throughout his um, suit. Looks freaking awesome. And then this belt. Those details there. And his armor. All this armor actually has uh, technology in it. So this is all really cool. And I just get lost of looking at this figure. I almost forgot I was doing a review. You got the cape or cloak. Actually, it doesn't get in the way, which is actually pretty surprising. Got a little skirt right here. You got his um, sidearm. It says D for Doom, which is awesome. Whenever in like comic books or whatever, Doom would have like um, logos for himself. It would be in this style of of, uh, of a D, which is awesome. That unbuckles. He's got a Luger, which I think is the same as the previous version. It's a little bent here, but nothing that hot water can't fix. And pause on this, but just to get an idea of all that, that looks freaking awesome, man. All these um little buckles up here look awesome. So basically, he's wearing all armor, which is awesome that they even carried it through up here. So I think a lot of engineering and money was put into this, which is awesome. He's got his boots. It looks like a knight, and that's awesome, man. So, just a dope, dope figure, man. It also has a jet booster up here. I think all the Marvel Legends Doctor Dooms have had this. He has a peg hole. You can actually um, peg an effect in there as well. So, that's pretty cool. It's got an interchangeable head sculpt. Again, a little hard to see. But it's more of a classic look of Doom. His mouth is uh, kind of um, open. Which is cool. And then you can pop it on here. And, oh, I just noticed that. Look at that. It's a uh, flesh tone up there. It's kind of hard to see. It's not on this one over here, but it's on this one. You can kind of see a flesh tone in there. Again, I apologize about the lighting. Just getting on his face is a little hard. But I uh, see it. I do prefer this one over here. But this one is dope, too. He comes with two pairs of fists. And he also comes with this open hand. And then he comes with this trigger finger hand for his gun. I love the little details there, man. Such great work. And he also comes with the super scroll build figure piece. I think this is the left leg. A little rundown of the articulation. Head moves up, moves down, side to side, left and right. And I want to show you guys something um, before I do that. Um, the articulation is a little hindered. But this, as far as moving up, doesn't really move up on this one. But on this, I do want to show you something cool. Hasbro, again, a lot of engineering into this. He actually has neck articulation, which, I mean, for a Marvel Legend, we never see this. This actually moves 
left and right kind of moves up and down moves down really far actually and moves up all the way and can actually like pop it out so that's pretty cool if you want to have like as a doom bot gives his head shot off for a shot you can do that but let's get all that back on there his, uh, his arm moves up back and forth or just uh, bicep swivel double joint at the elbow wrist moves side to side hand moves up and down has a diaphragm joint moves crunches forward and crunches back pretty far it doesn't crunch forward as much as I would like but still pretty decent he has a waist swivel moves left and right like I said with these legs it moves forward back and out so with the thigh it's a little tight up here it makes me a little nervous double joint at the knee is a swivel right here and foot moves up and down and he has an ankle pivot and also has some really cool details down there so great articulation on this figure i was a little nervous on how it was going to be done but the articulation on this guy is incredible so here's a size comparison with some previous versions of himself you got the i think this was the marvel legends i want to say i don't know what series it was from but there was a this is a doom bot actually so in the fantastic four um toy biz box set that was Victor Von Doom, but this is a Doom bot, which Doom actually does, and I will talk about that a little bit later. And you can actually see the face in there, which is a Doom bot, so it's not actually Doctor Doom. And then you got this one, which is a remake of the one that came in the Ronin Build a Figure Wave back in like 2007 or something like that. And they just repainted it, and this was in a. It actually didn't have a Build a Figure Wave, which is interesting, it just came with bases. But this Doctor Doom I was very excited about. You know, it was a step up from this. So, I was excited about it, but the articulation is not that great. And when you look at it now, it just looks a little awkward. Especially with the uh, um, body mold that it's on. But there are some cool parts about it. I do like the paint and everything. And the mask does come off, so this isn't a Doom bot. It's actually Doctor Doom. So he has a burnt face, which this guy doesn't have. Besides the flesh tone that I was showing you guys earlier. But, you know... We needed something new and this is definitely something new and I love it. Now what I want to talk about with the Doombot is I want to get maybe three more, maybe four, just to have it as a Doombot. And I do like this one as a Doombot and also this one as an, especially this one. I love this one as a Doombot, but just having like four more of these as the Doombots or whatever, that would be incredible. And here he is next to the Fantastic Four, Walgreens exclusive, Mr. Fantastic. This guy came out incredible, man. So I'm going to rate him a 10 out of 10. Easily my favorite figure of the year so far. Um, he came out great. And Doctor Doom is one of my favorite villains of all time. And I want to see him done right in media, the MCU, everywhere. He's just great. And I definitely recommend that you guys pick him up. A lot of people have been, you know, picking him up to scalp it. Or to just have multiples on him. So it's kind of hard to find online, but in retail, it's not too hard to find at the moment. If you can find a early case of the new wave of the uh, Super Scroll Builder figure wave. But I highly recommend that you guys pick it up. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.